So to find the break-even point in units and in dollars, I'm going to use this equation that says my total revenue equals my total cost. That's where we break even. And um, to break that down further, we can say that's where total revenue equals, and total costs are made up of my fixed costs plus my variable costs. All right, so now um, if we go back and start pulling pieces of information from the problem into my equation, we can solve and we'll do this for units first, how many we need to sell to break even. We don't know how many we're going to sell, but we know each clock sells for $8 a part, uh, each, a piece. So we take $8 times X. X is going to be how many we actually sell, and that's going to be my revenue, and that's going to equal my fixed cost, which if we look at the schedule here, the $64,000 is my total fixed cost. We add to that my variable costs. And my variable costs are laid out for me quite nicely here. They are $4.80 per unit sold. So it's 4.80x because we don't know how many we're going to sell. So all we have to do now is solve for x. You subtract the 4.8 and um, from both sides of the equation, the 4.8x 4, 4 that is, and you have 3.20x equals 64,000. So x which is the number of units sold to break even, is 20,000. And that's the answer in units, but they also ask us in dollars, and there are several ways you could answer it in uh, break even in dollars. And the easiest way, in my opinion, is if you first find the units, and then you take that units times the sales price per unit. So I'd, it'd be 20,000 times the $8. So my break even in dollars is $160,000.